What is up, YouTube? Thank you very much for tuning into my channel, Lando Tech. And boy, have I got some interesting news for you. Even though there are a lot of word processing programs out there, Google Docs, LibreOffice Writer, WordPerfect, pen and paper, MS Word is still a very popular option and used by a lot of businesses, institutions, and individuals. It's intuitive, support for it is easy to find, but the product comes with a heavy price tag, $169 Canadian for a one-time purchase and either $79 or $109 per year for an Office 365 subscription. But I've got some good news for you. Today, I'll be showing you two ways to get the entire MS Office suite for free. So now, you don't have to be refinancing your home or advance money from a shady loan shark just to create a spreadsheet. The first way to get it for free is by accessing the office.com website online. So open your web browser, type in office.com in the address bar, then sign in with your Microsoft account. Remember that old Hotmail account that you used to use for MSN chatting? Yeah, use that one. If you don't have an account, no worries. You can create a new one for free. Once you're in, you'll see that you have access to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and other apps in the MS Office suite. If you want to make a brand new document, you can either click on Start New and then select Document, or you can click on Word and then select New Blank Document. Once you're in a Word doc, you'll see that you have your ribbon at the top, which you can expand for more details. It looks a lot like the local version of Word. Many of the features are present, but of course, some will be missing. For the most part, the basics you need for successfully composing a Word document will be there. It even has a dictate button, which is present in Office 365, but not available in the standalone version of Office. By default, this does save to OneDrive and it auto saves as you go, so you don't need to worry about losing data if your computer crashes. If you do want a local copy of your file, you can click on File, Save As, Download a Copy, and then click on Download. This saves a copy of the file to your Downloads folder. The second way to get Office for free is by using the Office app that can be found in your Start menu. I'll go over it really quickly. To access this, click on the search box. Then type Office and click the Office app. At first glance, this looks exactly like Office.com. The main difference is here is you not only see a copy of the files you've recently worked on online, but you also see a copy of the files you've worked on locally too. Thank you very much for watching my video guys. If you found this helpful, please click that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe by clicking that logo at the bottom right hand corner of my video. Don't forget to click the notification bell if you want to be notified when new videos drop.